and welcome to this week's Catch of the Week. My name is Brenda. I'm the branch manager and children's librarian of the Marco Island Library. And today we're going to be talking about starfish or sea stars. It depends. Uh, some people call them different things. It used to be they were all called starfish, but now people want to call them sea stars. Um, so these are the books we're going to be doing this week for Thursday at my story time at the Marco Island Library at 1030. Um, but I'm also going to show you our craft. I took a piece of paper and cut it so that it sort of looked like a starfish. Then I took those that fruity cereal. You know the fruity cereal. I got the colored one, but you can also get the plain brown one too. And put some school glue on it and then glued the, the cereal on to the starfish, just as if it were the feet on a real starfish. And now, would you like to see some real starfish? Let's go see. So here are three different starfish. Now this big one is one that you're not gonna find here in Florida, but these two smaller ones, you will. So let's talk a little bit about them. So let's talk about the starfish a little bit more. This first one, the big one, this is the one that you're not gonna find here in Florida, but it was really easy to see all the little parts of the starfish. Our starfish sort of look like this as well, but it, they're just so much smaller, you can't really see it. It doesn't look like they have any, it has any eyes, does it? But their eyes are at the end of their feet and they're tiny little threads that come out that little have little eyes on the end and they wiggle them around. On the back side, where all of their feet are, see this in the middle? That's their mouth doesn't really look like much of a mouth, does it? But that's how they eat everything they're looking for, including the clams and snails and other things they capture underwater. Let's go talk, let's talk about the other starfish now. This is the one that if you're really lucky, you will find. And this is called a brittle star, mainly because it's really fragile and it breaks very easily. And this is the other one that people find here most often. This is the kind that you're gonna see here again. You can see on the back where they would have the feet and here's the front. But these, these last two are the ones that you're going to find here in Florida. Happy hunting and I hope to see you next week for more Catch of the Day.